doesn't get any more tension packed than this. The 2022 FIFA World Cup final. Who is going to come out on top? Stay with us for all the action coming up next on EA TV. Hello and welcome to a contest of colossal meaning. We find ourselves here just to the north of the Doha city centre, ahead of the 2022 World Cup final. My name is Derek Ray, and with me to provide expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And as you can imagine on this occasion, the atmosphere is building up nicely. It's Brazil against Italy. Well, what an occasion for these two sets of players. A chance to be world champions. Let's hope the game matches the atmosphere. It should be an absolute cracker. I can't wait for this to start. The starting 11 for Brazil. Alisson begins in goal. Thiago Silva plays alongside Marquinhos in central defence. Casemiro plays alongside Lucas Paqueta in central midfield. And the striker is Richarlison. And the Italy starting 11. Gianluigi Donnarumma begins in goal. Alessandro Bastoni plays alongside Leonardo Bonucci in central defence. Jorginho plays alongside Nicolo Barella in the centre of midfield. And the main goal scoring threat today should come from Ciro Immobile. And the game begins. Well, you might say history speaks for Brazil. On seven occasions, they've made it to the final before. They've recorded five victories. They're always going to fancy their chances. How do you view their prospects in this one, Stuart? Well, right at the start of the tournament, I asked the question, are they a great side or just a good side? If they win here oh, today... Oh, Stuart, they must score! Absolutely spot on with that challenge. Verratti. Jorginho. Well, Neymar really is one of the greats in the world game. Stuart, interested in your opinion as far as this match is concerned. What should we expect to see from him? Well, he's such a natural finisher. He has everything a good goal scorer needs. Can he make it count? Oh, there's the goal! There's the opener! How about that? Well, just look at this. He keeps his composure and he almost passes it into the back of the net. That's a very good goal. So the ball rolling again with the score line standing at 1 0. Lorenzo Insigne. Spinazzola. Oh. 
Barella has it. Well, the attack looks promising. And over the touchline for what will be an Italy throw. Well, it was a foul, but good use of advantage by the referee. But he's decided that no advantage was forthcoming, really. And so it's a free kick. Well, he's walking a fine line. No caution, though. Well, the referee's made it quite clear, hasn't he? Next foul, and he will get a booking. <laughs> it's looking promising. Richarlison. Vinicius Junior back to Neymar chance maybe well good defending clattered out of there Neymar and a goal I'll tell you what they're going to be very hard to catch now Neymar on the trophy maybe Well, as you can see, his movement is really good, which then makes the finish look easy. That's a decent goal, that's for sure. So the ball rolling again. 2-0 the score. Barella, an effective challenge. Well, that's a good Brazil move in the making, but nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Richarlison, Neymar, and that's a very good parry. Paqueta, on to Danilo. A glorious chance, and a goal to increase their advantage to three. Can they be stopped? Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal, but the keeper should do better at his near post. That's gone in far too easily. That's not good goalkeeping. And the ball is rolling again. Brazil really starting to accelerate away here. Not a huge chunk of added time. One minute. Vinicius Junior. Danilo. Going well. Neymar. And a fine stop. Over it comes. Save, but still a chance. Oh, tremendous work from the keeper to avert the danger. The first half here comes to an end. So off and running again after what was a dominant first half performance by Brazil. Can they produce more of the same in this half? Really getting stuck in. Lorenzo Insigne. Chiro Immobile. Now with Spinazzola. Just the challenge that was required. A 
An effective ball. Paqueta. Now Casemiro. Just made sure nothing came of that. And Neymar. Read it well. Oh, beating his opponent with ease. My goodness, that save. Fully stretched he was. One for his own highlights reel. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. <laughs> Who's going to get on the end of it? Putting his body on the line. Casemiro. Well, it might still work out for them. And holding on to it at the second time of asking. Well, what a brilliant save that was. How did he keep that out? Well, it was a splendid piece of goalkeeping, but he has to remain on his toes. Getting in there to intercept. Vinicius Jr. And continues his run. But the danger averted for now. Danilo, terrific block. And the poor touch didn't help them on the possession front. Now we're inside the final ten minutes in this one. Casimiro failed to hang on to it. Five minutes left for play, and all pretty decisive. And there it is, a goal! But will it be purely a consolation at this stage of the proceedings? They haven't been at the best. Well, let's see this again. This is counter-attacking football at its very best. And then it's a clinical finish from Immobile. The outcome was never in doubt, was it? You just knew he would score from there. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? Neymar. On to Paqueta. Well, no stopping him. But they dealt with the threat posed. There will be one minute added on at the end. And the referee brings this final to an end. For the first time in 20 years, Brazil are world champions once more. Well, no surprise there, Derek. Brazil have been brilliant and they fully deserve this trophy. Brazil, the world champions. And this triumph, you just feel, Stuart, is going to be fondly remembered by all Brazilians. You're absolutely right. They've played some great football. They've been inspiring. There's been some great individual performances. It's been outstanding from them.